Hey, how's it going today? And I just wanted to make a video showing you how you could combine different animations from your Mixamo character, grabbing different animations and then kind of sequencing them together to create a range of actions. I'd be lying if I said this was easy for me to figure out. This is kind of what I ended up with. I have a lot of fine tuning still to do, but I want to show you the, the basic process and then you can kind of take it from there. But essentially what it amounts to is you need to create in-house motion clips and then use those motion clips and then you can bring those in and animate your, your Mixamo character. Once you get the hang of it, I think you could come up with some fairly cool animations. So here we're going to get started. I'm just going to I'm just going to clear out this scene file. Let's see here. Oh, I got to go to items and hopefully this won't take very long and you'll see once you do it a couple times, it, it goes pretty fast. Okay, so we're gonna start by, we go to the in out tab and we go to the interchange. And now let's see, I'm not sure. I already have a walking animation loaded in. So, you know, you go to read file, you load it up, okay. And then you click here and it loads in, there it is. And then what you can do is you just come here, we're gonna put this down to zero. And there's a couple little tips and tricks that I found on this. And that's what that was my sticking point on this thing. So once you get those figured out, it won't be so frustrating. We are going to, we press F2 and we're going to use the motion mixer. And there it comes up right there. One of the things that I, I realized is I wasn't selecting everything that I needed to select. And I kept, I thought I was making a motion, but I wasn't. I wasn't selecting everything that I needed. So we're going to come down here to object and we're going to go to the skeleton. Mixamo rig, and then we're gonna go into the scene editor right here. Double click there. Oh, it's down here. And this was one of the tricks or tips is that you come down here and you can collapse a lot of these windows like this, but if you click here and this is your main file that you want, and if you go select, you wanna select all bones of current object, and then that selects everything. So if this guy looks like he's been shot with 5,000 arrows, you know you're on the right track. Okay, you'll go create, but you want to do that before you do, you create your actor. So you're going to create our actor, and I'm just going to call him, we'll just call him Stan. All right, wait, hold on. Stan. We'll call him Stan the man, why not? Okay, and we go okay. Now, if you did it right, you're going to see items and actor, you're going to see 68. So you know you're you're on the right track there. And then what we can do, I know from experience that, so when you get your Mixamo rig downloaded, you should count the frames and find out what the start frame is and the end frame is. I already know that this little walking animation goes 42 frames. So I've already created the actor. So now if I create motion, you can just call this walk. And the end frame I know already is gonna be 42. So, but you should know the your end frame count is what I'm saying. And then if we go, okay, we're told down here that our motion was, created successfully. So then all we got to do is click up here, add motion. And then we just click on the timeline here and there it is there. And I, in as many times as you click, there's a lot more to this motion mixer than what I'm showing you today, but I'm just showing you how you could bring in, combine two animations into one rig. And so basically it, it amounts to recording a motion clip. So on the first rig animation that you bring in, this should be your starting animation, I would say, but it doesn't have to be. And to show you that this works, if we hit play, it should now loop three times. So let's cross our fingers and hope he loops three times. Yeah, so now it's just the, it's just repeating, right? Okay, so now what you got to do, the second part of this, we've got this rig all set up. We want to deactivate this, and then we, we've got to go in and load in another, our, our next animation. So really what this is, is a process of bringing in all the animations that you want. So let's say if we go into the interchange again, and I go to read file. Well, let me let me unload this here can go to read file. We go to file. I have another one here, stand up and go okay. And we go okay, we're gonna load this scene in. And then we'll just click here and it'll overwrite the one that we, we'll actually have two characters I guess on there right now. So I'll close this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave him standing there. They're all, they're kind of over the top of each other. And then what we're gonna do is the same thing we did for the first animation is I've got to come over here to object and click here. He's number two rig right there. And then we're going to go into scene editor again, double click scene editor. And you could actually just record these separately. I'm recording them kind of all together, but let's collapse these here. Let's see here, collapse them. 
Okay, so we want to deselect this because we don't want anything to do with any of that right now. And I don't think we want that either. We just want this one here, the second one. And then again, we'll go to select, select all the current object, right? We're going to go, and you can see how <laughs> it looks pretty crazy. And then we do that in the scene editor before we create the actor. So now we're going to go create actor, and we're going to call this just stand number two and go OK. And now we should be able to create our motion. So then we just go motion, create motion. I didn't, I don't know if I got a frame count on this one. Let me see. Will it play through? Let me see. Let me watch it see play. So there he is laying on the ground. He just found out his electrical bill was a little high. Uh, so let's see how many frames this goes. Approximately. I don't know. Let's just say two, 220. Okay. So we know that. So then what we'll do is, now that we know that, and we've got him already selected here, we're going to go Create Motion, and we're going to call this Standing. And like I said, what we're doing is we're basically creating a motion clip. Okay, right here. So that, oh, did I say 220 was the end frame? So we'll go 220, and we'll go OK. And then we'll just come down here and go Add Motion, and click here and there's that animation. So now we've got this. So now all we've got to do is come down here and where it says add items, we're going to go save motion. And we should have, I should have a folder somewhere here. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I'll just put it in here and I'll just call it standing and go save. And that creates our, our motion file. And so now we're, we basically just created a motion clip and we don't need that. We don't need any of this anymore. So what I can do now that I've got my motion clip recorded is I could actually go to add items, free actor, and just delete all that because I don't need that anymore. I could actually then go into the scene itself. Oops, let's see. Go into the scene itself. Oops, I don't want all that. Let me just, can I go into the scene editor here? Objects. Oh, here we go. There it is. I'm going to go to just get rid of him. We're just going to get rid of him. Clear, select, and I don't want to clear the scene. I want to just go to item and clear that second rig because I don't need it anymore. Yes. And then I believe he has some other parts that we need to get rid of. So we'll clear those two. Make sure I got that selected. Clear that. Yes, and then he's got one le other bag of bones left, and we'll clear those. Yes, and now we're just left with our original rig. So now, back on stand, the man, if I reactivate this now, I should be able to go into this second thing here where it says uh, save motion, motion menu, and go load motion. And there's my standing motion clip and go open. And now I should have that available as an option to me among my other ones. And I just go add motion. I can click and drag these around now. And I just, well, I just dropped it in there, but I can actually play around with these now. So, I mean, I could just pull this down here and this is supposed to be, the motion mixer is supposed to be like a non-linear editor, but with motion clips. The trick really is making sure that you've got everything actually selected when you select your, your actor before you create it. And then once you've got your first rig in, then you can just come in and render out a bunch of motion clips. And then once you have that library of clips, then you can just bring those in. Well, let's see if that works. So let's see what this looks like now. So if it all worked right, and let's hope it did, he should walk twice, fall down, stand up, and then walk. And then I can come in here later at a later time with the motion mixer and fine tune the transitions and things like that. But let's hit play and see what happens. Oh, it's kind of starting in the middle. And then he takes off walking. So he's looping back around. So there he's walking once, walking twice. Bam on the ground. He's getting up. And then he's just going to go to walking. 
Okay, this is how you would combine different animations from the program like Mixamo. It's just essentially the same thing. I, I honestly believe that a lot of these 3D programs are very similar and they're all, I'm of the opinion they're converging where they all have similar functions, but that there's uh, just a question of where they are. And some of them have different features and different that. So in my mind, a lot of it is just a question of preferences. But this is how you would do it in Lightwave. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. That means more to me than people subscribing. So if you watch the video, that's really your way of saying thank you to me. So thank you too for watching and have a great day.